see you, dude. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Chris was one of the first guys that I met, like, like first treatment or something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. All right, so here we are in the car with Chris, one of my first drivers from back in the day. Chris, how you doing? Hey. Doing well. <laughs> It's like, uh, what do you call that when you get back together? It's like a, like reunion? a reunion. Reunion, yeah. <laughs> Rendezvous sounded weird, so I just said reunion. <laughs> and I'm with the angel. Hi. I'm so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. What are you, uh, what are you excited about for this, this visit? I'm excited to see some numbers on this visit. So I always like coming, especially on this day, because we get to see the doctor that's in charge of the of the trial, and he's world renowned, Dr. Maury Gertz. And for him to be able to see Dan personally, it's pretty big. And so to get answers from him is, is huge. And that's what we're looking for: is see where his numbers are, to see how he's progressing, and to see where we can go to, and to get some answers about the trial. That's yep. Right. So this is my be my 13th treatment, the start of my fourth cycle. Correct. And uh, I'm glad it's up here because I haven't been feeling well this week. So I've been uh, just not, not my best. So it'll be interesting to see what the numbers say and if they support how I feel or I'm hoping they're trending in the right direction. But man, I haven't been feeling great. I know, this has been a hard week. So we're hoping that things look good and we get some good news, despite how you're feeling. That's right, that's right. But we're playing over it right now. You're playing over it. <laughs> Still had a couple of great events and Kicking yeah. Right? How many files? 13? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay, let me swing. Morning. Just finished with an early blood draw, 7 o'clock a.m. Mountain Time. And I'm heading back to the room to uh, have a 7.30 breakfast with Jennifer. And then back to Mayo for an 8.45 meeting with Dr. Maury Gertz. A Mayo treatment number 13 with the beautiful angel. I already had a 13 vials of blood drawn this morning. Yep, 13 for 13. 13 on the 13th treatment. So we'll see how we do today. I'm excited to meet Dr. Gertz. I'm already tired from walking through the room and uh, we're about halfway there. Make sure you duck. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you duck. <laughs> Everybody. Good morning, how are you? Uh, on fire. We are going to be going into 84. Make oh. your first and last name and your birthday, please. Thank you. So last week's been difficult. What happened? I just don't feel good. Just uh, I feel that feeling again like I had prior to treatment where uh, my body gets really tired and I feel like, I'm, like my abdomen is full of, of something. Two things I think will happen. One, you'll be treated. Um, until maximal response. And then we'll determine if that maximal response that you've achieved yep. is adequate or whether we need additional maximal response, which means some alternate treatment. Mm -hmm. We're not there yet though, right. to know. We're not there yet. Well, the things that I've heard from the community is uh, they always talk about a stem cell transplant. Yes. Is that, would be, is that a next step possible? Uh, it would be a possible next step, absolutely. So if it needed. It could be a lot of We've got a lot of options. A lot of options, yeah. Okay, so we're just we're early in this thing here, trying to figure out which way we're going to go. Correct. I think it is premature. So right now, though, he has you're on your thirteenth treatment. Thirteenth treatment. And yeah. how long does this round, I guess, go for chemotherapy? Chemotherapy will continue unabated as is with weekly cyclophosphamide, dexamethasone, and Velcade until I'm convinced that the light chains have plateaued. Yeah, so there is no number right now? It's I don't think it's right to fix a number. I think we're tracking the light chains okay. and if they're going down, it's crazy to stop. Right. If they start leveling off, then we say, okay, so what are we accomplishing with additional therapy? So I think it's really important that we continue to track that. Okay. But uh, I'm not disappointed from April through June right. to see what we've seen. So the light chain production of amyloid is going down. And then of course we look at your those indirect measures of your cardiac function, the NT pro B and P. So let's pull that up and see where <clears> that <throat> has been going. Can you explain to me the NT pro B and P? It's really a measurement of how efficient your heart's operating. Mm -hmm. I mean the NT pro B and P is actually a function of it's a hormone actually that's produced in the heart and it's a function of stretch dynamics of the heart and so in a way it measures how efficiently your heart's working mm -hmm. and that's improved a fair amount as well. Where do, uh, where do we want that? Doctor? Well, uh, lower is better and it's far from normal. 
but it's half of what it was. I mean, he, we, right. we here started and you were 1700, and uh, yeah. this is today's. I don't have the light here, but I have your NT Pro BMP, and that's 800, so it's half of what it was, which suggests that from a cardiac standpoint, we're pretty pleased with the direction things are going. But from last month, it didn't. It looks like it went up a little bit. Or it's, well, I mean, I'll uh, tell you, 748 to 800 is not a big change. Uh, you know, it went down 800. It went up 50 from the lowest. But that's uh, two straight months, though, that it's kind of insignificantly yeah. moved up. Yeah, I'm not uh, certain that that's a clinically relevant okay. uh, change. But it's obviously something that we're going to need to continue to track because one of the goals of the treatment is. Yeah. Suppressing that, although I mean, based on I mean, I'm looking at your blood pressures, and I think that you were running 100 to 105, and now you're 95. So, five to ten point reduction, I think, in your uh, blood pressure. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. and there's your weight. So that also looks like it is going up, and that may be lean weight, but it also may be fluid. I think next steps examine you. Sorry. Daniel Lear, L I E R. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Someone feels short. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw the doctor today, correct? Yeah. In the corner window room, oh, it's the executive again. suite. Sweet, <laughs> the honeymoon suite. Yeah, That's... right in that corner room there, just down That's the hall from the lounge and the bathroom is right oh, outside. Perfect. So whenever I go up to Mayo for the synthetic <laughs> antibody infusions, which is part of the trial, the first thing they do is give me an EKG. Then it's time for the IV so they can drip the synthetic antibodies into my body. Unfortunately, the IV insertion doesn't always go so well. And today, the first one didn't work so well. And we had to start over. Well, that was a good one, but he puffed up right away. So that mean no good. No good. The second was successful, so we are on our way. I guess if you're a baseball player and you hit 500, you go to the Hall of Fame. So, we're okay. Sorry about the extra hole. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> See what we have. I think yes, that was last week they gave it over okay. here. So. And there's one there, so I'm going to go up just a little higher because it's not going to be exactly the same spot. Today. That would be great. So we just walked out. Treatment number 13 mm -hmm. is pretty much done. Uh, we are going to another place here at the Mayo Clinic to get a, what am I doing? Getting an ultrasound. An ultrasound on, on my abdomen. Abdomen. Which I have to figure out why it's so distended and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Really busy day, so now it's time for some dexamethasone and some dinner. Cheers. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Today was uh, a big day. It was the start of treatment. Um, it was thir treatment 13, but the start of cycle number four. Right. And this is the, the, the time when they do all the marker testing and see if I'm improving and whatnot. So 
we were hoping for improvement in all three of the markers that they're looking for. And unfortunately, we only saw um, a slight improvement in one of the three markers. Mm -hmm. So not able to say that I'm really surprised about that because I haven't been feeling great this week, uh, really weak, weak uh, muscle fatigue and abdomen uh, distension. And so we did uh, do a couple more tests today because of some situations and we did a additional checks, chest x-ray and an abdominal what? Ultrasound. Ultrasound, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> I like can hear when the dexamethasone starts taking effect and he took it about an hour ago and so all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it in your personality. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. He starts getting a little loopy, real fun, you know, easy going. Yeah, I know. You're ready to party. Well, I have to say though that, you know, um, Bit disappointed about the results, yes. so obviously hoping to keep improving, but small bump in the road. Not, not the case today. No. And luckily, the numbers that weren't improving, um, they were small. It was a small increase in some of the levels that we were looking to decrease. So hopefully, that will change next time you come back next month. Fine. We also found out some more about the trial. Yes. And the trial consists of the that when I come up to Mayo for the anti synthetic antibody infusions and what we discovered is that, that trial is going to go for I'm in the trial for one year mm -hmm. so that means that I'm going to be doing this process uh, for going up to Mayo once a month until next April at least next April right and then the trial is separate than the actual chemotherapy the treatment I'm doing and the treatment looks like I might be finished with uh, now they're saying six rounds 24 treatments which will put us at October November ish mm -hmm. yes so that's where we are. Yeah. You've been doing good. I mean, you've had extraordinary results so far, and this week was a little bit of a setback, but I think that with some good sleep and some good nutrition, next week you have a good week, and it's a good week's worth of work, and I believe that you'll start feeling better, so. Thank you. Making it happen. <laughs> Excellent. So that's it. We're done with 13 on the way back to Vegas. Thanks for coming along, by the way. Uh, you're welcome. It was really nice to have you. It was wonderful to be here. I'm glad I got a chance to come. Oh. <laughs> J-Man, too busy doing deals. <laughs> <laughs> you know.